In this video, I'll show you how to get started with the COUNTIF function in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael, and I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. Let's head over to my other sheet. Here I just have a table with some values. The first column is a range of numbers, which we'll use in our COUNTIF function. Column B, I have an example value and C is example criterion. Column D is just the formula, but without the equal sign. I wanted to display it so you can take a look while following along. And column E is the actual formula itself. So firstly, let's take a look at the anatomy of the function. So here, looking at the tooltip for count if, it just mentions it counts the arguments which meet the set conditions and I moved over into the first parameter and it's saying that it takes a range and the second parameter, it takes in a criteria. So a criteria can come in a form of a value or in this case, a comparison or some sort of expression. So in this first formula in cell E2, what I'm doing is looking at this range of cells of A2 to A11, which is just a list of integers from 1000 to 1009. And I'm looking for the value of 1006. And so the result is there's just one count, which is referring to here, 1006. In the next formula, it's looking in the range, but for the value that is referred to in cell B2. In this case, I have it at 1005. And so the result is it only shows up once. If I change this value to 1005 so that there are two instances within the range, then we see the result changes to 2 because I made it appear twice. In the formula for cell E4, the way I have set the criterion is I actually typed it out and notice that I'm using quotation marks. This is good to use because it's basically setting it as text or a string and the function is smart enough to use that. It'll know to look for any values that are greater than or equal to 1006. And the result of that is there are three counts which in this case would be here in cell A8, A10, and A11. If I change this back to 1007, then we see now the result is there are four counts from 1006 through 1009. In the next formula, the criterion looks a little bit funny. So here I have the less than in quotation marks, and then I have the ampersand, and I'm referring to cell B2. So what this does is it's almost like combining two strings together. The reason I'm doing this is so that I could use a cell reference B2, in this case, the value of which is 1005. And I don't have to type in the value into the criterion. And so the result of it is there are five numbers that are less than 1005, which would be here. And here, the formula for E6, it is looking at my range and the criterion that it's using is cell C2. So in this case, I actually have the criterion with the comparison operator greater than 1006 and the function is smart enough to use that and it gives me the result of 3, which is referring to the values 1007 through 1009, these three numbers. In cell E7, what this formula is doing is, is looking for any negative numbers. So any number that's less than zero. For example, if I change a number here to a negative, then we see it gives me a count of one. And last but not least, in cell E8, this is to check for equality. The reason I'm doing this is to demonstrate that I'll search for empty values or empty cell. So notice that the range is actually from cell A2 to A20. I double click on the formula and it shows me the ranges from here to A20. And I'm actually checking for the value of blank cell, which means I'm just looking for empty values. The empty values here in my range is from cell A12 to A20. 
and that would be a count of nine. So if you ever wanted to see how many empty values are within a column, you could do count if using a criterion such as this. So that's it for today's quick tip. I hope you find it useful. I'll include a link to the official help page for the count if function where it goes into a little more detail on how you could use it. If you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to learn, feel free to mention it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and as always, stay nifty.